Uh, welcome back, everybody. Thank you um, for the lunch break. Um, uh, uh, Council, are we ready to continue? Yes, indeed, Mr. Chairman. We are ready to proceed. The witness is being brought at the moment. Welcome back, Mr. Jata. I hope you have had good lunch. That's a good lunch. Could you state for the record, please? <laughs> That's a good one. Wonderful. <laughs> Better than water, water, chew, right? <laughs> Small or plenty of water. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Jata, before the lunch break, yeah. you are talking about events at Fajara Barracks. Yes, please. So you indicated that after the men and officers under your command overran Fajara barracks. Mm -hmm. You decided to do certain official things mm -hmm. by checking on your armory mm -hmm. to, to see what you have in there. Mm -hmm. You thereafter walked to the GNATS, that's Gambia National Gambia Army Training School, School mm -hmm. uh, and you returned back to the offices near the guard room area mm -hmm. while doing some official work there you had gunshots yes you rushed out you thought you people were under attack counter -attack. Under, an, under a counter attack but what you saw was Sanasabali <coughs> and his men shooting at the detainees does that characterize <coughs> Mm -hmm. What you said. Mm -hmm. He was not alone there. Edward was also there. Good. Yes. Edward. And who else? Mm. Sadibu. Sadibu was also there. And who else? Yanko Mature was also there. And who else? Who is the last one? I think that's all. And they were all shooting? No, 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 no. no. I did not see them shooting. No, it's a question. No, no, I did not see them shooting. But this is certain jobs we have to give to the small boys there. So, but I know Sabal was. Could you? Yes. Could you say that again? The, we, we Sabal was forcing the orderly to shoot. Sabali. Did they shoot? They were shooting on the ground. But two people fell in the shooting. Mm. Because of all those they detained, that would have been more than even seven, eight people. More than that, ten. But two people fell. Left number Sirubaro and left number Dotfal. And then what happened after that? The rest escaped, uh, uh, started running. 
I did not come to tell Sabali, don't shoot them. I came to tell Sabali, look at our families watching these people. Yes, you did say, you told Sabali that even if it is to be done in secret, it's secret, better. Better. And allowing families, and even using the same soldiers who are their own brothers, to shoot brothers. He looked and, at it uh, and he said, hey, you are right. And then what happened after that shooting? He had to hold for a while. Then this one, these people took off. And he said, fire on them. Then they started firing while they were standing. But I am 100% confident that the boys wouldn't like to do that job. Uh, uh, we are not yet in that domain. We are not okay. asking for an opinion as right, to what right, they right. could or would not or could have or should have or did not. Right. We want to know what actually happened. Mm -hmm. When these boys were running, did you receive any instructions? Yes, to pursue them. And then what happened? Let's just say that the boys are to pursue them. We did not pursue them because they ran into a residential area. For fear of causing disturbance and firing in residential area, could cause serious panic to the public. I mean, <coughs> firing in public uh, residential areas, civilian residential areas, is going to cause serious panic. But we show them running. The boys show them running. And you can tell distance, even at 100 meters, that's Mr. X, Y, and Z. My driver was also part of them. You know. But by Monday, I was able to get my driver. He called me and I said, uh, come uh, back. Babukar, let's limit ourselves to what was happening okay, at okay. that instant. All right. In your statement, you said, Sabali said that you should pursue them. Yes. Did you who? pursue them? I did not pursue them. What did you do? We assume standing down there looking at one another. But I think from their own boys, some of their boys went out to pursue them. But then it was late. In your statement, you mm -hmm. said as follows. I faked him yes. by calling him at the office to tell him that we could not get one. <coughs> when in reality... Mm -hmm. We did not mount a hot pursuit. His boys mount a pursuit. I did not. Then when I went back, I called them to say, sorry, we couldn't mount that hot pursuit. So you changed your position on that? We no, it's the same. It's the same I'm talking. Uh, did, was there a hot pursuit or was there? There was no hot pursuit. There was no hot pursuit? There was no hot pursuit. Nobody chased after these guys? Nobody from my end. No. Maybe his boys. Is it a maybe or is it a yes? For me, it's no, I do not mind a pursuit. The mm -hmm. evidence is to the contrary. Mm -hmm. There were no instructions given to you. No, there were instructions. There were no ins You were the commander. Yes. Why would you be instructed to go and chase after boys? Mm -hmm. That's why I would not. That does not make... But who is, who, is, who is this person talking? It, does it really make logical sense? These are my superiors. Uh, no. They were your subordinates in that operation. You led the operation by your own words. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I led the operation. By your own words, you were the commander. Yes. And even if you were not, wouldn't it be demeaning for mm -hmm. a lieutenant colonel to be sent to go and chase after running boys? No. That's why I said no. So I would have delegated. Mr. Jata, you want delegated. to tell me, you want to tell Sorry. me in all sincerity mm -hmm. that you were expected to chase after these men? No. Of course you wouldn't. Mm -mm. If I have to do it, I have to delegate. Uh, let's listen to Njai Ponkal. Okay. Uh, what he has to say about this. Go ahead. Could you kindly play the video? Uh, the second video on the list, please. Uh, H H P H is it H P H P H P van or H V van? O V van, O V van, O V van. Could you kindly play uh, the video by Njai Ponkal? Video number two on the list provided. Is that correct? 
Yes, Council. Good afternoon. Uh, like I said, when uh, the, the detainees were asked to alight from the truck, then Sanasabali asked them to be in single line towards the football field. When whilst we follow them to the football field. Can you tell us what happened? Then, upon arriving at the football field, they were asked to line up in a straight line facing the sergeant line accommodation area. Then, Sana asked them to, Sana Sabali, when I say Sana Sabali, I mean the former vice chairman, Sana Sabali. Just asked to be them, clear, sorry, they were lined up, you said, facing the residential area? That's all. Were they on the football field itself? Exactly, on the football field. And how were they positioned? They were in a straight line like this. Like an extended line? Extended line. And please continue what happened. Then they were facing the, the sergeant line residential area. Then Sana asked them to, to say their last prayer. At that point, where was your group? How were you positioned in relation to the detainees? We were, fa we were facing them directly. We were facing the, 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 the captives directly. Were you, what, um, how would you describe your line? Were you also in extended line or did you stand in a different formation? Exactly, Council. We were in extended line facing them. So your group was in extended line facing the detainees who were also in an extended line? Council. Yes, and then you said Sana Sabali spoke to them? And Sana spoke to them that they should say their last prayer. And then in that, he gave them a couple of, couple of minutes, okay, we call it a couple of seconds. Did any of them say anything during that time, any of the detainees? Not to my knowledge, Consul. Then after when they say they are last prayer, when, when he gave them this, the, the, those couple of seconds, when they, are do, they were done, then he started shooting indirectly, very close to them. Who started shooting? Sana Sabali. <clears throat> when you say he was shooting, where exactly was he shooting? He was shooting at those detainees who were lined up facing us indirectly not directly what do you mean by indirectly when i say indirectly like where i am now here at the table here then shooting at where you are but not directly just very close to the table there down downwards that's, that's so that's shooting that. at the floor at the floor exactly what was the distance between sanasabali and the detainees it was like where i am now to where you are not Less than 50 meters. And you were in an extended line, presumably also 50 meters away from the detainees. Mm. I was, I was, I particularly was on the right side of Sana. I was on the right side of the Sana, just behind him on the right side. Was Sana positioned in the middle of that extended line or towards the end of the extended line? Well, he was slightly on the right. Like the extreme right, mm. facing them. So Sanasavali shot on the floor. Mm. Do you know how many rounds he shot? This was, the, the, the way he was shooting out was sporadic. It was, we call it automatic. A lot of rounds were being shot from him. How long did that shooting um, take place? Yeah, when. He was doing that. It, it does for like I, I can't exactly tell, but it, this shooting was on for for some time. Apart from Sanasabali, did anyone else shoot at the detainees as soon as, at that time? As, sorry, Council. As soon as uh, we arrived, when they were lined up, then Sana started shooting talking to them he was saying something i could not remember actually then while he was shooting 
yeah. then because the way you, he was shooting at, you can realize that he was not controlling the muzzle of his rifle. So as a result, during that shooting, a rifle, uh, uh, a round strike at Dot Fall. Then Dot Fall fell down. So the other guy was just on his right side. That is Kurbali, the late Kurbali, was at the ordinance, was trying to help Dot Fall. When he fell, immediately fell down. Then Sana Sabali shouted at him that he should leave him. He said, leave him. Then Kurbali left uh, uh, fall on the ground. Then all of a sudden, the rest of the, the captives fell down and started screaming. They started shouting and screaming. Up to that point, you told us that Sanasabali was shooting. My question is, was anyone else shooting apart from Sanasabali? He was the one I saw because I was direct behind him, directly behind him. He was the one I saw at that time. And in fact, in your statement, you say that you don't remember anyone else shooting apart from Sanasabali. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Correct, Kansu. So your testimony is that you were all in an extended line and the only person you saw shooting was Sanasabali? Mm -hmm. At that time. As a result of that shooting, you said that Dot Fal fell down. A round strike at him on the legs, then he fell down. <clears throat> so let's focus on the other members um, of that extended line. You mentioned Sanasabali, mm -hmm. and you said you were next to Sanasabali. On his right. Who else do you recall standing in that extended line at Fajara Barracks? Yeah, that's. <coughs> That's, that is what I could not actually, because when, when this shooting was on, all of a sudden, these people started screaming. They fell down as a result. Then My question is, who was standing on the extended line from your group? You mentioned Sanasabali. You mentioned yourself. Who else was on that extended line? The Oddlis. The Oddlis were there. Can you give us their names the again? Mendy was there and uh, or at least to yeah Yankuba uh, and uh, Edward also were there Churo Mustafa uh, Suso Suso I always forget the first name so let me give you the names that you gave us before, and you can tell me if those people were standing on the extended line at Fajara mm. Barracks. You mentioned Al Fuseni Suso. Mm. He was was he on the extended line? He was there. Lamarana Bari. Mm. Ensa Mendi. Mm. J C B Mendi. Mm. Mustafa Ture Churo. Mm. Jali Musa Sal. Mm -hmm. As in yes. Yes, uh, Kansu. Sambaba. Sambaba, Kansu. You mentioned from your group. You mentioned Zakaria Dra um, Dabo. Was he on that extended no, line? Zakaria, I could not actually <coughs> remember <coughs> being there. Okay. So you already mentioned JCB Mendy. What about? Baba Enjai, was Baba. he standing on mm. that extended yeah, line? Yes, counsel. Let's talk about, um, you mentioned a Marong, nicknamed King Kong. King Kong. Was he standing on that exactly. extended line? Ma, uh, counsel. We already, I already asked you if Lamin, uh, his name was Lamin Marong. You said you don't really recall, but for sure it, the nickname is King Kong. Is that mm. correct? So let's talk about the more senior members who were also standing on that extended line. You mentioned Sanasabali, of course. What about Edward Sinyate? Was he standing on that extended line? Edward was there. What about Peter yeah, Sinyate? Yankuba, Peter, they were all there. Yankuba was there. What about Sadi Buhaidara? Mm, they were all there. Was there any other senior member of the military present? Like I said, uh, in my initial 
statement in the morning, like Babu Jatta was there mm -hmm. on the ground because he was the one who recognized Messenger. Oh, you are here. Said to him, Yes, sir. So Babu Kanjai was also standing on the extended Babu Jatta, Jatta, former army commander, mm -hmm. was also standing on the extended line. Council. Do you recall any other senior members of the army apart from the, the ones I've mentioned? Senior officer at that time, as a army commander, that I, I, I can remember, apart from the council members. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Good. Jata. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have learned from the statement that we just heard okay. that you are standing on that extended line mm -hmm. and that is that extended line of soldiers facing those who are detained, those who are arrested. Is that correct? No. So you're saying that uh, yes, Babu Karinjai is lying. We, mm -hmm. we, we, we have to move Yes, so yes, I, I, do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Do you saying? Do you say that he is lying? He was lying. Uh, you were not standing on that I'm extended not on line. I'm on the extended line. All that I have was a pistol only. I no, we are not talking about the weapon yes, you had. Yes, it's good that we clarify that for. I was not standing on that line. Okay, thank you very much. Two, it was not at the football field. It was at the drill square, drill field. As you go along, step to that place. Right after the bathroom, room. That's not the drill field. That's not the football field. The football field is next to the training school there. And two, uh, uh, a private soldier. Uh, Mr. Njai, did we, Mr. We are Jata, honest, yes, yes. hear me out. The truth mm -hmm. does not depend on the rank the person wears. I do, I do accept. The truth mm -hmm. depends on the candor of the mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. testifying. Mm -hmm. You know right. why? Let's get that clear. Yes. Okay. You I don't. I let me make some statement. I don't want to lose. I tell you the other time my uh, moral authority over certain issues. As a commander, if I had to join killing my own men, I can't command them tomorrow. Uh, this is few things the, I want to. The, I want uh, to put Mr. it Jack, clear. Let's, allow us. Let's allow. Allow let's us. You don't know about the military. We have a problem here. You see, unlike others, the Mr. Re Jata, it I is your own subordinate, yes. Yes. a private soldier, Good. who is saying mm -hmm. that he's commander of the mm -hmm. army. Mm -hmm. I was the person, there, just hear me I out. will not line up. The person who commanded the operation mm -hmm. was standing there in the extended line. It's not me saying it. Okay, now, did I fire? So, you either accept or you deny. State mm -hmm. your answer I, uh, and no, we no, move no, on. No, 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 they will not understand. You deny? I deny that. Okay. Good. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. I Witness. Uh, let us now play the video mm -hmm. of uh, your brother, JCB Mendy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number three, please. <coughs> and what happened when they moved aside? Can, can, can you tell us who, specifically, who was there? Oh, um, Yankuba was there. Uh, By Yankuba, who are you referring to? Yankuba Ture. Lieutenant, is it? Yes. Who else? Uh, Lieutenant Singa S Edward Singate. Yes. Lieutenant Peter Singate. Uh -huh. Lieutenant Sarah Sabali. Uh -huh. And Lieutenant Hydra. They are all there. Okay. And they were joined by who? They were joined by the army commander, Babu Karjata. Mm -hmm. And then what happened there? He, was, he talked to them. I don't know what was their talk was all about, and then they come, they they, they, they return back to where we we lie lie down, and the both of them join us, and Sana give order for us to fire them. At this stage, were you all standing down, standing up, or you were lying? No, we are lying. At this stage, where were the, where were the uh, captured soldiers? They were in front of us. What distance? No, I cannot. I cannot judge the distance at that time. But can you show us by indication somewhere around here or outside? 
No, it's with like from here to you and maybe a little bit distance to, to, to you. At this wall yeah, or the next that, wall? No, this wall. This wall? Yeah, around that. Say around 12, 10, 12 meters. Could be. So how many people? Only these three or more than these three? No, I saw these three. I saw these three. We know you said you saw these three. Yes. You identified these three. Yes. Were there more than these three or these are the only three you can remember to have been present? Yeah, these are the three that I, I can remember to be present. Were there other people there you could not recall? No, I cannot recall. that. Where they are you don't know them. whether there were more than three yeah, people or know. not? I don't know. I don't know. And exactly where did this happen? At uh, the entrance of Fajara Barracks, at the main gate, towards the field. Was it at the field or near the ante room? It's between, the, the, it's between I think, the ante room and, and, and the wall, towards the field. Okay. And uh, so, tell us what happened afterwards. You are there, these people are in front of you, yes. 12 meters in front of you. And then Sana gave the order. Yes. What happened when Sana gave the order? He gave the order for them to be fired, at, to be killed. By who? By everybody who was there. And, and what happened after he gave the order? And the shooting started. Mr. Jata, mm -hmm. uh, JCB, uh, JCB Mendy put, put you as somebody, as somebody who, was who was present there, there when Sena gave, gave the order and all of, and you, all fired. of you fired. Is he, lying? Is he lying? We were all, we were there. all there. Yes. But I will not fire. But if you have asked him, that's something you are missing here. I told you that I left the armory to come to that place. I had a pistol. And you have this man down there. Sabali was in charge. We were told I was totally against the firing. No, you were in charge. You were the commander of the operations. You said that yourself. No. You changed at your the, mind. At the, at, no, no. At the end of the operation, we have, we have finished the operation. We have succeeded. No, the operation has not no, finished. No, no, no. It not stopped there. That's why it stopped. And so, when these people were even coming at the back, I never saw Sabali bringing these people. Mr. Jata, you let mm -hmm. me read out your I statement. Don't Hold that. a second. Let me read out your statement. Mm -hmm. You made it as if you were not even aware of this shooting. You came and then you saw that the yes. shooting has occurred. Where were the men? Uh, no, don't ask me questions. I ask the questions. Mm -hmm. Your testimony is you had the shooting, you came out yeah. after the shooting. So you were not even there. Mm. When the shooting occurred, but I came there. Yes, no, no, you, no, you no. The first shot, when he threatened them, I was not there. I arrived there. I came to the shooting site. Could you say again? Where he was shooting, they were shot at. I rushed to that site. That's why I met Sabali and, and Edwards and others. Uh, the question is. I mean, at the end of the exercise, the exercise was. Babkar, uh, take it listen. easy. We're not talking about okay, the okay, end okay, of the okay, exercise. Okay, okay. We're not there yet. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. We are talking about the sequence of events. Mm -hmm. You said you had the shots. Yeah. And you came out. Yes. And you saw mm -hmm. that Sana had that had shot had shot these people. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you were not present when the shooting was happening. Yes, I was not present. Two witnesses have now said mm -hmm. that you were right there when the shooting was happening. Are they lying? That's their statement. No, I'm they asking lying. you a question. They, they are, are lying. lying. All right. Thank you very much. So we move on. Okay. And let okay. me just make a small statement here. Uh, sorry. One more statement. I was carrying only a pistol. Two. If you said that when I came, I was behind them. Yes, I do accept. With no. Sabali and others. No. But they were saying we are all lined up. And we all shot. That's what the witnesses say. That's what they are saying. Yes. That's a lie. That's a lie. Okay, good. Uh, 
let's listen to another witness. Okay, let's listen and to the witness. hear what they have to say. That's what they said. At that point in time, these people cannot tell you even where my position was. It was also how many men were there. Uh, let us. But they clearly recognize who the army commander okay. was. Didn't they, they know. They know. They would do that. But at that time, they themselves were so tensed. Uh, yes, the situation was tense. But they recognized the army okay. commander. Yes, yes. I said I was there. Okay, good. Let's hear. Let's hear Abdullah Dabo. Uh, the fourth video. Mm -hmm. two while you were naked. Yeah. And uh, you stayed in mile uh, two in the could, same. Could place. could yeah. Ovi Van? Could you and please move the, the video a little bit further? Yeah. Ovi Van, kindly move the and video a little barracks, further. We're all paraded. Yeah. In that. Same Kindly move Kindly the video, move the video a little further, further, further because it's, because uh, it's, it's uh, somewhat, it's of, somewhat a long of a long one. Could you move it a little further, say to the middle of the video? Volume, please. It's only Mafuji Sonko who were physically on the ground, but the rest. And others have run. Uh, I think you 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 took it too far. Started running. One of them I was think you took it too far. Could said, you oh, please uh, take it at the back a little bit? It was too. You took it too far. Before that, before that, before that, like could you take it back a little, a little bit further? Just back a little bit further. One more minute, just one more minute at the back. Falling down. Until around some mid, some around six seven, when I had somebody was talking to him, no, but I last stop. And that voice seems to me like Bab Jata who was telling them that I last stop say. That time I think I was left with only Mafuji Sonko who were physically on the ground, but the rest. And others have run. You know, earlier I tell you on the statement that others started running. One of them was hit on the back and said, Oh, I am boom, I am boom, I am boom. Let's run, let's run. I told him, Look, even if you run, Allah said you will die, you will die. If you stay, Allah safe, you will be safe. So some a noise was made behind us. That's the time when these people started running towards the training school. And So let's take what you've told us step by step. You were paraded, and then Senesabali counted one, two, three, yeah. and then everyone started firing. Fire, yeah. Prior to that, do you recall who was present with Senesabali? All these people I've said, Babu Kadijata was there with the other junta members, with their guards, Modbaji, we are all there. Because Babu Kadijata was together with Modbaji, on the same, they were all together. What was Modbaji's rank at the time? Modbaji, I believe at that time he was a captain, I think. Captain or major adult, but he was among the senior officers of the Gambian National Army. Uh, uh, Mr. Jasa, Mr. do you again deny having been present on that line? I said I was there. I have to join in. Listen, you don't understand what I was trying to say. Uh, uh, I am trying to clarify me, a portion here. Let me repeat what you just there said. There is a small Ho thing. Hold a second. You, okay. I'll give you a chance. Uh, I'll be fair to you. All right, I do. Uh, I'll give you the chance to say what you need to say. Mm -hmm. uh, only that we won't waste too much time on issues. Okay. Uh, you just said, I was there. Mm -hmm. I had to join them. That's what you said. Mm-hmm. For the record. Yes. That's your testimony. Mm -hmm. Proceed, please. No, I was definitely there when I came from the Omar. And he was telling, Allah, 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 stop. No. I told Sabal, you can't do this. 
He when can arrived, only yes, testify yes. to what he heard. See, some of these people were in trauma at that point in time. They were and what? They were traumatized. And you, you are I not. Was, you are on adrenaline. A little, a little bit okay than them because Just they were fired bit. upon. Okay. Hmm? They were fired upon. And I was checking. There was no need. And I know that we'll come to these problems. Why all these problems happen? You know, we've not talked about that one yet. Maybe we'll talk it along the line. Okay. So the witness said he heard a voice say, Allah stop Sanyi. Hmm? That, I tell you, but I, sorry. <laughs> That's what he said. I was telling someone, you stop this. He stop can this. only testify to what he said. Okay. And the words he used are important. Okay. Allah stop Sanyi. Are you stop? Okay, we find him closer. Meaning, mm -hmm. stop it now. Mm -hmm. okay. Those, those yeah, words yeah, are yeah, important. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but you, st okay, we need to get it clear. Were you on the extended line or were you not? I'm not on the extended line that was shooting. But behind us, we were standing there with Edward and others. Right are you changing your mind, Mr. Jata? On you the extended line. <laughs> Listen, you previously said mm -hmm. when the shooting was going on, you were in the armory. You had to not run the to come. I had to rush to join them. Where? Savali was, they were shooting on the ground. A lot of ammunition were wasted. Mr. Jata, uh, we have your statement here. Okay. It captures the words mm -hmm. that you used. Mm -hmm. This is a statement written by you, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. You wrote your own statement. Yeah. We did not have anything to do with it. Right? You confirm that? Statements can have two connotations. Mr. My Jata, understanding did you and the reader's did, understanding. Did you or did you not write your I own wrote, statement? I wrote my statement. You wrote your statement. Thank you mm. very much. Correct. And uh, it says, uh, just a moment. Uh, you said here. I think it's paragraph 17. Mm -hmm. In the in the middle of paragraph 17. Uh, Did it. When I when I thought all was over mm -hmm. and the junta had left. Mm -hmm. I had gunshots from the residential area. Yes. With my soldiers, we rushed out of the armory thinking it was a counter attack. Mm -hmm. When I saw guards looking towards the area with hands folded, I knew it could be a serious matter. As I watched, I saw Vice Chairman Sabali and Junta firing at detained soldiers in broad daylight around 9 a.m. The firing is not one go. Uh, Mr. Jata, your statement yes, here... Yes, I do, I do. Your statement here... Mm -hmm. Your statement here said you had gunshots. Mm -hmm. You went out mm -hmm. of the armory. Mm -hmm. You saw them firing at the paraded soldiers. Yes. You could not immediately alight or come out of the armory and at the same time and immediately no, be no, at the field. No. It would have to take time okay. for you to get there. I you do. did not make I that. I do. I do. Sabali did not fire once. Okay. He fired, they, they fired Sabali himself fired, threatening them. Talk. This was when I came. But you, s in your okay, statement... Okay, maybe, maybe somewhere along, along the line. That was you, my own fault. You have to stop I will, interrupting I have to take that. me. Yes, please, please. I'll take that responsibility. You were there? Yes, I was, I was there. You were there? Okay. Yes. May I just remind you that there is a, a transcribing of these proceedings that would happen, as well as some uh, recording, and the interpreters in particular would need to oh, okay. follow the proceedings very all well. Right, right, okay. And if you can have just one person speaking at a time, all right. that would help. Sorry, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Mm -hmm. So, Babukar, uh, Mr. Jata, your last statement was, yes, I was there, I take responsibility. That's what you said. 
Yes, that was when the two collapsed. First, at first firing, he did not shoot. He was As firing the on time, the ground. Dot two eyes, they fired two eyes. The first time, they were firing on the ground. But by the time the second shots came and the two fell, I was there. You Somebody, he threatened, he was threatening them. How many, how much ammunition? We, we, over, 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 over 300 empty cases that we collected on the field. Babukar, let's not digress okay. to irrelevant issues. All right, all right, all right. Uh, the issue is yes. you now accept that you are there on that extended line and you take responsibility for what happened. That's what you said. Not the extended line for the shooting, but behind them. Okay, now let's... There is the line. We are standing here. We are making are progress. Standing. Yes. Uh, let's hear yes. another witness. Okay. Uh, three witnesses have said mm -hmm. you were there. Mm -hmm. Now let's hear another witness. Acha. Play the video of Ensar Mendy, please. You play a lot of them. Yes, we have to, yeah, we have to yeah, put yeah, the yeah, evidence yeah, to you. Yeah, 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 but I know. Babuka. Why should I relinquish myself, relinquish myself, myself to tell you that I am not doing I the right thing? I'm trying to divulge to torch. I would never do that. Okay, Mr. Jata. I'm a very sincere Mr. person. Mr. Jata. Listen. Uh, I am not Please allow me to learn. You are cutting me off. And you cut me off, I am going to start doing something different. We will do Mr. Dego. You either trust what I say, or you take what you have to say. It I am telling you... The first shooting on the ground, when Sabal was, I came running. Stop it, stop it. And I met him there before they start shooting. I won't relinquish my command authority, my, my moral authority for the sake of somebody. Now you are telling me that I am still in charge, but you get to know that appointment has precedence over rank. Just understand that. Mr. Sabali is a number two person. And that time when he gives you order, you will be running. We all know. Who? I would not people, have been there. People, even ministers. He was. He told Bibi Dabot lined up. Who but, refused? But Babukar, let no, 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 us, let's let know us not authority. digress. Let let's us know not digress. The, the, the echelon of authorities. My Babukar, chairman. Allow us to please, please. please. Babukar, let I'm us not sorry. digress. You don't understand military matters. You are just, just guessing. Just for a moment. I was hoping that I don't have to use the gavel. Hmm? This is the first time I'm using it uh, in the middle of my um, proceedings. Please, sorry. Can I'm we go sorry. slowly? Yeah, okay, and okay, gently, okay, okay. how to get this thing going on. Something and if you, uh, no, let, let me just finish. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any statements to make, that opportunity would come. Okay. Council would definitely give you time oh, if you right, need right, to explain right, something right. that is not either part of your statement. Mm -hmm. or that we would be very fair to you. Uh, witnesses coming in here, uh, okay. it is our obligation uh, to do that. Okay. You are helping us um, put together. A record of what really happened mm -hmm. and uh, we are not doing it any confrontation way uh, in any confrontation manner we are doing it um, uh, uh, professionally so if we can just um, help each other that way that will be very helpful indeed so I hope I don't have to use my gavel again thank you uh, thank you very much Mr. Chairman uh, that was very timely uh, but Mr. Jata maybe I'll have to disappoint you okay. I understand mm -hmm. The whole law about command responsibility mm -hmm. and how soldiers are organized mm -hmm. my specialization is the law of war mm -hmm. i work on war crimes i work on crimes against humanity okay. but i would not take offense for what you have said mm -hmm. let's proceed and you would answer the questions okay uh, now you have accepted contrary to what you have said before that when these soldiers were being killed, you were right there. Is that the case? Yes, I was there. Good. Um, it would not have been this difficult if you had answered the question in the first instance. Now let's hear Esa Mendy. Where some of these young soldiers, these pri private soldiers... Volume, please. Uh, we told them to come on board and join us at the back. Some of the soldiers. Then they accepted the join. Volume, please. We can't hear. Um, but for the uh, senior officers or senior NGOs, we don't do that. What would you do? Um, some of them were arrested. And then what happened after that? After that, for a couple of some hours, um, Sana paraded uh, 
some of the captured soldiers at the football field. <laughs> then he ordered us to shoot at them. And what happened? We responded, shot. All of you shot at the detainee, at the captured soldiers. Yes, sir. And and uh, what was the consequence of that shooting? Um, what I uh, observed was two soldiers has fallen down. And uh, and what happened to the rest? The rest, we are all in ex the exit. After that shooting, what happened? After the shooting. Um, uh, perhaps let me take you a step backwards. Okay, sir. You said all of you responded to Sana's command and you fired at the captured soldiers, yes, correct? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. By all of you, you mean everybody that was present respected the order and fired? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. At the Mr. Jata, please, do you still deny? that you fired your weapon while you were there? I did not fire my weapon. Thank you very much. Uh, we uh, have Council, please. We'd have to move Just on. One, one area. Look, we, the senior officers, should take the responsibility earlier on to tell that we gave them instructions to do that dirty job. I didn't hear that. Could you say that? We, again? the senior officers, should take the responsibility to tell you that we gave them instructions to shoot. But because it did not happen, they must fuse us in. What so all running around this boy is just a waste of time. What are we you saying in war, in a war theater, in a theater of war, atrocities committed by soldiers their commanders have to be accountable for. Take account of that. Are you prepared to accept that responsibility? We the senior officers. We we we, we send them to all this job. Because Sana Sabal is a senior officer. Whoever is there is a senior officer, I'm a senior officer, and you know that if they don't do this, what's going to happen to them? So are you prepared mm -hmm. to accept that responsibility? We the senior, I, I will not accept myself because I was a senior officer so, too. So, so you accept responsibility? No, 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 that, or else even, even, even Kanye will not behave like how he was behaving. Because we did not appear here to tell you people, look, we the senior officer, need to take, we need to take that responsibility. Uh, thank you very much. And this is the whole essence of the TRRC, uh, yeah, for people to come out and speak mm -hmm. the truth mm -hmm. and accept responsibility mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where they have responsibility. Mm -hmm. So thank you for accepting that you should shoulder responsibility for the killing of those two soldiers at Fajara Barracks. I was saying, if we had, if we had appeared earlier on and covered this to tell you that this was instructions given, they said that instructions given to them, they were right. So whoever is who gave that instructions, we should take that. My person should take that responsibility. You will not be seen so scattered information. Well, thank you very much. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. You see, uh, in the, let me just come. I'm just a briefing. But you should allow me to do okay, my okay, job. Okay, right, go ahead. Go we ahead. You are give right. you the free right. You to are say right. You are right. Anything. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Let's move on to the next topic. Uh, the fleeing soldiers. Okay. You did say that the instructions were given to you to mm -hmm. chase after these soldiers. And the story, the evidence is that that was not the case. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would leave the point because, uh, I mean, you have accepted responsibility where at the, for the most important issue. So I leave this issue and move on to the most important, uh, mm -hmm. the most important uh, okay. uh, issues we are yet to address. All right. What happened after these soldiers were killed at Fajara Barracks, what did you do? They were left there. They brought them on a, uh, one of our vehicles. Is it a Bedford vehicle? And they gave instructions that let the body go to Yundum. And you, what did you do? No, this was their odd list, putting it in the deck. They took my driver. Okay, of Fajara Barracks. He was not a state guard personnel. Because all these orderlies and so on came from state guard. They are not under, directly under us. They came from state guard. They are under the... Did they put the bodies in the vehicle? Yeah, they went with it. I, I remained behind to, f to sort out a few things. And then, after that, what did you do? 
When I left, I called my deputy. I said, this is what happened. I called, sorry, Major Ann. You come and take over from here. He came and I left. In fact, he gave me the, one of his vehicles to go to the headquarters in order to go back to, it, to go to Yundu. From the Fajara to the headquarters, I joined my deputy's vehicle to Yundum Barracks. Because all that I have to tell them is check on your arms and ammunition, check on your personnel, and then another thing is what happened. So you because went back to Yundum Barracks? Yes, yeah, so inform the CEO that we want to know how much, how many weapons, ammunition, whether that Amori has been vandalized or so. He has to do that, and I have to show him the format that I want to come to me. Because and we have to standardize everything. Uh, what time did you arrive at Yundum Barracks? That was around in the afternoon. Morning, between after morning and uh, 12 mid midday onwards. Are you sure about that? Yeah, yeah. I, came, I, I went with my deputy. What if I tell you <coughs> that the witness have, witnesses have you at Yundum Barracks in the morning? Around 9 a.m., you were at Yundum Barracks, no. continuing with the operations <laughs> together with other members of the junta. You see, you see, if you talk, you see, look, I'm the commander of the army. I don't want to be told. If I had uh, distanced myself, you would have told me, why are you telling me they say, they say, they say. As a commander, you live with your men, you die with your men. What was happening there? Was that the reason why you went back to Yundum Barracks? To live with them or die with them? No, no, no. I went down to tell them that check out for your weapons. Uh, yeah, they have to have follow a procedure. Did you really have to go to Fajara, to Yundum Barracks to tell them that? You could have sent your deputy, couldn't you? I was using his, we were using his, uh, he, has, he, has, he also has to come in. You could have made a phone I call. I have no driver at that point in time. My vehicle was parked down there. You see, as you enter Union Barracks by the guard room, my vehicle used to park there. That's a big fluorescence light. We I used to park. Uh, we no, but if I decided to, to build a format for myself. You decided to go to Union Barracks. Yes. The evidence is that you were there with the members of the junta mm -hmm. continuing with the operations. No. These boys were even talking. They said even Mohamed Baji was there. Jumble up everything. Look, I know that those officers were detained. My immediate priority is my arms and ammunition. Secure that one force. Because in being in possession of a single round of court martial offense, let me repeat that. Much more an echo for yes, nine echo for nine echo for seven went missing. Mr. Jata, we are not looking after lost yes, AK-47 mm -hmm. or lost bullets. Yes. We are after soldiers who were executed by their colleagues and their superiors. Mm -hmm. That's what we are after. Yes. So if you would limit your answers to the questions asked, we would make progress. We still have a bit to cover. Yes, so, I know. So, so, so if, please, limit your answers mm -hmm. to the questions that I ask. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I want us to do this in a way that, you know, uh, there won't be any difficulties. Huh? I am sure you can do that. You're a disciplined soldier. So yeah, you, you know, I'm talking about my life. That's right. You, it doesn't so matter wherever it, your, the situation heads to. That's my life. Uh, well, I don't want Jata, to walk in the street to Mr. be told Jata, that look at him. Mr. Jata, it also matters to me. Mm -hmm. Be rest assured that I am interested in ensuring that you are treated fairly, okay. with respect, Good. with dignity, mm -hmm. but also you would be questioned robustly to bring out the truth. So, so let's proceed. Okay. It would work quite smoothly if you answer questions. The evidence is that you were at, at Yundum Barracks in the morning when the corpses arrived in that truck. Do you deny that? I deny that. Uh, uh, we would still put the evidence to you, mm -hmm. and then uh, you would we would hear what you say. Uh, Hold it. Kindly play the video uh, of uh, Mafuji Mafuji Sonko. Uh, that's uh, the eighth 
video in the original numbering. Okay. Eight video, please. Volume, please. Volume. Up the volume, please. Well, with the people that he came together with, uh, my friend, uh, that was uh, it was a difficult situation. Uh, I think it was more than that. He, 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 I, 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 I can detail it. Well, that was, could was that could be terrible, or could be terrible and tense and uh, yes. terrifying. Good. Good. Thank you. Can you explain to us Munatin Akandita? Kanzul ko ya fanya wairi ko watembo keta wati kole ngolete akandita mune ya kole yandika akandindi wunya. Namo wato mena fano keta shilangbe ame kono jana when the morning came and we were inside the cells, so all heads of the army came. They all came and they stood there. Who are you referring to when you said all heads of the army came? Council ko ibe juma nyollema. Niko so jar kuntong kulu be nata juma nin juma nyollenata. At that time, my friend, Edward Singate DJ. Edward Singate was there. Sana Sabali DJ. Sana Sabali was there. Babu Karjata DJ. Babu Karjata was there. The military police will be there. The military police were there. Adila Nyatongkom Lieutenant Jase. And their leader was Lieutenant Jase. There is one called uh, Fresa Juf, but he's a Nigerian. All of them were there. Peter Singate and the others, they were all there. Uh, Mr. Jata, uh, you see Mafuji Sonko have you present there in that morning mm -hmm. uh, when the junta returned from Fajara Barracks. You say that's a lie? That's a probably lie. All right. Uh, I would also confront you with other witnesses who Look, said you were no, there. I'm no more interested. Let them talk as much. I am telling you. Okay, as an but officer, Mr. Jata, the commission is okay, interested. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead, play, play. Yes, the commission is interested. Okay, okay. You would be confronted with the evidence and yes. you'll be given the opportunity to state your position. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Can kindly play this uh, video by uh, of of Alaji Kanye, please. Uh, the 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 eighth video. Alaji <laughs> in killing Sajin Fafanyang at Basiru Kamara, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, at this stage, which senior army officers were present? I know you have mentioned members of the council Lieutenant Sana Sabali, Lieutenant Sadi Haidara, Lieutenant Edward Singate and Lieutenant Yankuba Ture. At this point in time, were any other senior army personnel present? Yes, sir. Colonel Babukar Jata was there. Did any of these senior officers do anything to stop you from killing these people? Nobody, sir. Nobody stopped us. Nobody even talked to us. Nobody even... Uh, thank you very much, Obi-Wan. Uh, Mr. Jasa, Mr. you see, Mr. Kanye also have you present there at that time in the morning. You also deny that. I was there in the afternoon. This, when those bodies came, there was no killing. It was in the afternoon, after 12 o'clock. I came with my deputy, I built that foreman, I went back, I was, I told my deputy, look, whatever happens here, call me. Sorry, I told the commanding officer, whatever happens in Union by this janta, call me, I want to be present. When they came in the afternoon, they called me that they were in the camp. 
I drove with my utility vehicle. I came with my utility car. Not my staff. My, my, my official vehicle was there parked. As I approached that one, I know EMCC has gone. I don't know when they kill him. I did not witness that of Fafanya. But the last shot I, I had, as I was coming into Yundum, I was told was the collapse of Basiru, uh, Sergeant, Bas uh, Sergeant Basiru. Mr. Jata. What I'm coming, give me the name, Basiru. But, uh, let no, me no, ask we, my we, question. We are, going to, we are going to arrange this. Let me ask In the my morning, question. I don't have time for that. But I tell you that afternoon, it was the shooting of this uh, Sergeant Kamara, Sergeant Kamara, Basiru Kamara. Happened in the afternoon. Uh, yes, Mr. That one. The evidence is that you were present there from the yes. morning until the afternoon no, no, no. when those soldiers were killed. You were present. No. I came in the afternoon. I have a second. Uh, Apart from the Mr. morning, Jata, when I, you I, seem I went to, back. You seem yes, to I'm telling you that the, 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 the last shooting of these people, I witnessed it. I was there. Oh, okay. I mean, I was at the garden when it got popped and I know that who, went, who, who fell. I had a a minute shot. ago. You said you listen, arrived yes, after yes, their yes, killing. Yes, you see uh, No, no, no. I was, now me, I was telling you, just listen to me, let me tell you. I came with my tool car. By the time I reached the garden, I had the shot. You always seem to arrive just after the shot. Because this, they never, they, I was never invited even to this event. Alaji Kanye said you were present when they were In killing. the morning. No. No, 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 no. no. Alaji Kanye said you mm. were present when EMC, when Fafanyang. No. And Kamara were killed. He made a no. mistake. It's no. Ibrahim Asise and Kamara mm -hmm. were killed. Mm -hmm. But he said you were present. No. No. You still when, deny when Kamara was EMC was shot, I, I was not there. But when Kamara was shot, I was at a distance coming. I was, in the, was I was in the camp. It was the same time with Sise. No, 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 no. They, they shot I Sise was first shot. How do you know that? My old men. Information. Because you were there. Information. They were I told you I'm together. protecting three lines. Security of information. I'm talking about information. I want some information. I want to see that my personnel are protected. We'll come to that one later. And I want to see that my equipment are not yes. Yes. dumped yes. all over. Mr. Mr. I Yata. am telling you one sister was fired. You were you are after your personnel mm -hmm. because you were leading a military operation by the AFPRC. Look at that. You see, that's why I'm telling you I'm getting everything wrong. But you said I am you telling you, I am the commander. I don't want to be told. If I had stayed away, what would you say? I have said. No, I, I, should I stay away? I cannot. I cannot deal with hypotheticals. No, no. The should I stay here, away? Should I stay away the, when they were doing all this? Should the, I stay away? The issue here, Mr. Jata, is you told us that you led the military operation. You but told stopped, us it stopped when it was over. But we are reorganizing in battle. You don't know about that one. You tell me what are the sequence of section battle day. You don't know. Mr. Jata. Immediately at the end of every operation, you have to reorganize. You have to reorganize. It's only the assault that I was interested uh, Mr. Jata, in. Mr. Jata, the army commander had to go counting mm -hmm. bullets. The army commander had to go picking spent bullets. Why, That's why, what why, you why, try, why, want why, us why, to believe. Why, why were the soldiers who were around? That's what you said. You said in Fajr I said I you went, went picking uh, bullets. No, no. I mean, boys are doing the job. We learn to delegate. We delegate. You want me to be bending down? Then you don't understand multiple Were you procedures. present no, no, when, no, 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 when, no. when Bakari Kamara was <laughs> killed by your men? Bakari Kamara? Ibrahim Kamara. Basiru Kamara, I mean to say. I just arrived in the camp. You, 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 it's becoming a trend. You just arrive a little after the incident. Yes. Because so, I told my officers, if the agent comes here, call me. So, Babukar, well, I put it to you mm -hmm. that you're just saying this because you want to extricate yourself no. from that particular no. thing. No. I am telling you I'm the commander. Okay. Everything that happens, I should be present. Exactly. Are you aware? So, does mean I am implementing the role of the junta, not so. Good. Are you aware that mm -hmm. Alaji Kanye participated in the killing of Basiru Kamara? I did not see him when he was doing it. Are you but aware? I, what, 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 when he was coming back, I saw him. Are you aware of that Sir fact? Kamara, yes. So, as commander mm -hmm. of the army, did mm -hmm. you do anything about it? 
I can't do do anything about it. We are no, going you to are a commander. What, 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 you what? either accept your command responsibility mm -hmm, or mm -hmm, you accept mm -hmm. your failing as a commander. Somebody mm -hmm. as, as uh, somebody superior to me gave him that contract, that that assignment. Are you telling me I should hold Sana Sabal and break him? Yes, I am telling you mm -hmm. Sana Sabal was right. committing no, no, no. a crime in your mm -hmm. presence mm -hmm. as army commander and you did mm -hmm. not do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am telling I you. I was not invited by the junta to the to Yundum barracks, uh, but I took the responsibility because what I saw at that. No, place, ba Babukar, you just told the commission mm -hmm. that Sana Sabali called you and no, that was in the early come. morning. That was early morning. Before first light. That was before first light to attack Fajara, and when we attack Fajara, you may not know all this. We had to hold on a moment for a moment because you cannot attack under zero visibility. Babukar, we are not into mm -hmm. we are not one. into you don't know. You don't know. Sana Sabali called me. Sana called me to send his driver to pick me up. It, that was the last call I got from Sana Sabali. Uh, yes, of course, because you were with Sana all the time. No. So why would you receive a call from no. him? No. I told the commanding officer, if these people come to this, uh, 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 enter this barracks, let me know. Otherwise, what we were talking today, eh, I will be telling you that no, no, I was at home. And thereby, Mr. Jata, turn the whole Mr. Jata, staring no, no, no. again. We are, the evidence is that you are present because mm -hmm. you are part of the operation. You led the operation. You wanted to be the commander of the APRC uh, operation. If I had done that, I would, have, I, would, I would have been given my last rank because the last rank in that army was a brigadier general. For 10 years, I couldn't make it. Uh, uh, let us not go look, into that. Look, there are some By little, your own there evidence, is, Mr. As Jata. A commander, we have read about atrocities let me tell you by your own evidence mr jata mm -hmm. you told the commission that you led the operation sana designated you as the commander of the operations then he after accepted the accepted your instructions after the reorganization he would have left everything with me he so said, okay finish these people and go and we are going they are in your hands no you are the but he decided to do it himself All right, Mr. Why? Gata. Let's you have we to have the military. We, we have people, to, no, 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 no. We have that. to move on. In our court masters, that's why we are always bringing Nigerians. We have to move yeah, on. Yeah, because they read about court masters. Let's happen. You have to learn about military procedure and know this is how the military moves. If I decided not to attend there, when these boys were calling me that the Junta people are in the barracks. Mr. Jata, let's move on. And I on. told them that, no, I'm not coming. Mr. Jata, we have to move on. Yeah, well, let's move. If you yes. waste time, you are wasting time. You, are, have all the you arrived at the barracks soon yes. after the killing afternoon. of... In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Yes. Okay, let's, let's hear mm -hmm. the state, the evidence of Emelba mm -hmm. as to your whereabouts mm -hmm. when these events were occurring. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Can I go by my record? I have some. Um, well, try to recall it. Yes. And uh, no, just just try to recall it. Okay. okay. As I, I said, said left and say. Uh How do you call it? Left and Buba Jamme. Left and Lamin Dabo. Left and Ablai Ba. A chopping choppy. Then you have uh, Bakar Mane. Alliance Nyancho, uh, LF Jame. You know, this, these are names that I can fully recall. <laughs> and what time was this? This was after 7 o'clock. Yeah, because then it was not that much bright. When you see a figure, you can know that it is a figure, but you will not be able to recognize exactly who the person was. But as the problem I have with that is at that stage, many of these people you have mentioned have already been arrested. Buba Jami was arrested the night. A chopping. Yeah. Well, it could, it could be, but their names was on the list. It could be. But their names were pronounced. 
and uh, let me finish um, Mane Nyancho was also arrested Aliuba arrested why would Sana Sabali say if anybody sees them and fires us them they have no case to answer yeah, because maybe they believe uh, they might believe that these are the people who are the ringleaders who are the ringleaders but why would he say that if these people are already in custody in his own custody hmm. why would he say that that's what i'm saying i'm saying that i didn't know at the time whether they were arrested but these names were on the list and he was pronouncing names okay all right yeah. proceed then we were there for a while after seven o'clock it was eight uh, you know they ordered uh, for uh, Fafanyan to be removed from the cell at this stage did you see any vehicles okay. parked yeah, yeah. parked like anywhere around, around yes i saw a vehicle around the guard room and what type of a vehicle a truck military truck and then equally sana was saying that look at them uh, they want to be presidents they want to be president you can see them in the truck so who was he referring to do you know this uh, left them baro basiru and then dot far already soldiers were climbing or peeping i had the preview to go and climb and then peep i saw them they are all lying down motionless they are dead okay after that you know Edward asked uh, Kanye to go and bring Fafanyang. So he was coming with Fafanyang, pushing him, you know, asking him to run until at the ante room. Between the ante room and the cookhouse, they asked him to run for his life. For Fafanyang, Fafanyang to run for his life. You know, hands were tied behind, you know, with pants, you know, as he was running, looking behind, you know, then Edwards first fired at, at him. He fell down. He wanted to get up again. Somebody by his side, which I later realized that it was Lamin Kuli, also finished him. Let's take it a bit slowly. Yeah. Where were you at this stage? I was standing at the ante room. You were seeing things clearly? Yes. Koli, how far was him away from uh, Mr. Nyang, Fafa Nyang? Look, uh, this was a, a group of people. Fafa Nyang is in front. Uh, could he was you asked uh, to run for his life? Oh, Obi Van, could you please uh, move the video you. a bit? We want okay. really the you killing of Fafi to come around, come around and not, and not killing of Fafanyang. Could you move the video a little forward, please? He was running behind you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, Mr. Chair, I think we again. inadvertently right. played the wrong video. Um, uh, it should have gone extended to the killing of Fafa to Basiru Kamara, but instead it looks like this is more about the killing of Fafa Nyang. Uh, but I'll just put the accusation to the witness and hear what he has to say. Uh, Mr. Jata, uh, we have heard testimony yeah. uh, from Mr. ML Bar mm -hmm. that you were present at the barracks mm -hmm. uh, when Basiru Kamara and Ibrahim Asise were actually being killed. Uh, do you deny that accusation? I said I was at the barracks, but when EMC said fell, I was not there. But Basiru fell. I was just at the garden parking. You had just arrived? Yes. You were not present there before? Before EMC said no. Right. Okay, very well. Let's, let's proceed. Let's this hear... Is it. Yeah, we'll, we'll listen to one another. Go ahead. In fact, we have testimony mm -hmm. that uh, you were present there when EMC said and Nyang Kabare were arrested and brought to the camp. Nyang Do you Kabare. deny that? No, I was not there. Okay. Good. Uh, I would not play those videos. Uh, mm -hmm. you, it's sufficient you know the accusations. Mm -hmm. If you deny them, fine. So, so we go. Uh, why do you think, Mr. Jata, that your subordinates, all of these people were privates at the time, mm -hmm. why would they implicate you in these events? One person said this, and you can see the trend. Corroborative stories was just going on and on and on. Corroborative stories Corro wouldn't corroborative they stories, amount I know, to? I know, I know. Wouldn't they, they suggest they about, that that yes. position is in fact true? Pardon me. This corroboration, one story supporting the other story, mm -hmm. supporting the other story, wouldn't it suggest that that is true? Well, that's left to them. Left, left to you. But all I know. Even they themselves they are talking about Maud Baj. Maud Baj was not on the scene. But what but I'm telling you, I may want everything that happened. I will come to that. I want everything that happened I'll in my let it happen in my presence. That's why I told the commanding officer, don't resign. Let's after this, then you can quit. But I want everything to happen in my presence. If immediately these people come to this barracks, call me. So if it happened in my presence, it was like a battle. My duty is to make sure that they understand what they were doing. And what they were doing was killing Wrong. people they suspected this is to it. have been involved in the coup d'etat. Mm -hmm. That's what they were doing, wasn't it? Yes. And your duty was to make them understand that we should investigate so that we know, get the truth. There was a problem from the onset, from 1994, did, when they looked at, at Mr. the... Mr. Jata, did you really, no, did no, you no, really no, do no, that? No, 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 if I had to let, you see, I had to come in. You cannot pack everything in the paper and be read. I am telling you, here's a situation. We should have started with what prompt that could have 11 November. Very important. Uh, uh, Mr. Jata, you cannot tell me okay. how to do my job. Sorry. I cannot tell you how to become but an army commander. We, we, we have to, colla colla we have to collaborate. Uh, uh, so yes, we have uh, thank you very much. Uh, you told us yeah. your job was to tell them mm -hmm. that these people should be court-martialed. Yes. Did you do that at all? I tried. Uh, but some were court-martialed, some were forgiven. Uh, yes, we know that. Uh, My driver okay. and others, like Krubali and others, had to report on that Monday. Uh, yes. Now let's proceed. Mm -hmm. After EMC say and uh, Basiru Kamara were killed, okay. you were at the camp. What did you do? At the time of the killing, I was talking to the commanding officer. Admit that this happened. I said, look, I know they're going to leave these things with us here. Do something and let's help them. Keep this, uh, let's bury these people. We assigned him to assist, to bury these officers at a particular place where we can all identify. Who was the commanding officer at the time? Marong, Captain uh, Lieutenant Marong, Maud Marong. So you had discussions with him, did you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what did you tell him? 
I told him that to assist because they were left there. I said, better let's do something with this. We can't leave these cops. They are lying down there. Get some boys to help you and we bury these people at a particular place where we can identify. Could be identifiable. This was when we, they choose. They told me, when I came back the following, they told me that at a corner down there, I think that place was exhumed. I saw the exhumation yesterday. Did you ensure that the grave was marked? Yes, yes, I protected the grave. Well, for your information, mm -hmm. we had difficulty tracing the grave. There were no but markings, then, there was then, nothing, absolutely nothing. It, these people were buried like the graves were being hidden. Today is 14 nothing to show where they were. This year is 14 years when I left the army. Anything can happen. Is your testimony... But is during, my, during my period... Could you hear me out? Okay. Your testimony is that you had marked the graves? No, no, not marked them. We identify a place. How did you yes. identify them? At a corner. I don't understand. At the corner down there, you know, but you see why the exclamation happened. There's a fence towards the south from the cookhouse. There's a fence dividing the accommodation, the residence, and the school. Right there. It's where we, they buried them. What did you do to identify the graves? No, nobody comes to that grave. It's we ourselves. We know where they were. That's a heap of sand. That's the only identification. But to mark it, we did not mark it. Well, the commissioners have been to the place. Okay. And be rest assured mm -hmm. that it was extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. to find the location. It was by stroke of luck okay. that we found the remains. Mm -hmm. There was nothing showing where the graves were located. But did, you send a, uh, did you talk to the soldiers to find out? Yes, we did. Maybe they are, are trying to run away from this. After these people were killed, okay. you gave instructions for them to be buried. What mm -hmm. did you do next? They were buried. What did you do next? I left for home. Did you have occasion to come back to the camp? That was the following day. Kindly tell us what happened. That mm -hmm. day. And this thing on the following day happened to be on a Saturday. They came in the evening, the junta. Edward Singate, Sana Sabali, Sadi Haidara. Then the question mark here was, you know, I told you that I was not very sure of young Kuba. They called me to say the junters are in the camp. Maron called me and I rushed in. I went, I met them at the ante room. They said they are down. Like, we are all in Mufti. I was in Mufti. Sorry. Speak we up. Were, huh? Speak up. Huh? Yeah, we were all in Mufti. I was in Mufti. So I, when they greeted them, they said they are down to relax. They are here to just to relax. So I told the commanding officer, let's go to the office. So we left. He told me that they are up to no good. I said, I will stay here and wait. By the time they load these people, were about to go. I came from the office, I ran to, Sabal, ran, ran to Sabali's office, and I hold the vehicle. I said, I am going with you. He said, jump in. Uh, Babukar, in your statement, mm -hmm. you said you asked Sabali mm -hmm. for permission to go with you. Yes, that's it. You it's, all the same, it's all the same. When I said, if he had said yes or no, or no, I had to stop. I said, I am going with you. Uh, Not so that. Uh, Whether permission, we know, we know. I know. It's all let's permission. Let us talk about the okay. discussions that happened mm -hmm. before you decided to join them. The commanding officer told me that these people are up to no good. I said, okay. And what did you understand that to mean? They are here to kill. I said, okay, I'll wait and see. I decided to wait. When they load these people about to leave, that's why I came out from the office. Did you have discussions with members of the junta? No. Uh, and your commanding officer, what was his name? Marong. Uh, Modu Marong. Uh, Mr. Chair, we have a statement from Mr. Marong. And let me read out to you what Mr. Marong has to say about okay. the incident. 
He says in paragraph 108 of the statement, mm -hmm. and I quote, mm -hmm. looking at the very short time short lieutenant, sub lieutenant Singate spent in the signal room, I did not believe he talked to the AFPRC chairman about permission to have the officers killed. I believed he went in the signals room to get the telephone wires that he would later use to tie the hands of the officers that would be killed. Nevertheless, I knew Chairman Jame was a brutal person and he would not object to the killing of the officers. Mm -hmm. Sub Lieutenant Singate looked at me. He pointed at me with his right forefinger and he said, you are not part of it. Most probably because I disagreed with the killing of the officers. It was a compliment because I had no interest in being a spectator to a deliberate deprivation of human life. Mm -hmm. It was unethical. Mm -hmm. As at that time, the decision to kill and to participate in any killing was voluntary. The army commander did not say a word during the meeting. What meeting? He said, the joint, the meeting. he said, he said, he was there, you were there at the officer's mess. We were standing. And you did not say anything when he protested the killing no, of no, the soldiers. No, no. Let me proceed. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Let me proceed. He did not support my motion to save the lives of the innocent officers. He simply followed the AFPRC officers as if he had no duty to speak on behalf of the officers. Throughout 10th and 11th November 1994, he acted as the army commander for the AFPRC. With the AFPRC on the issue of the right to life of the officers. And he was appointed by the AFPRC. The three AFPRC members and the army commander left the officers' mess and they headed to the guard room. The rest is history. You jumped in that vehicle and went with them and executed the officers. Good. That is what happened. Good. That's his Isn't statement. It? That was his statement. But if Barong Mara would understand, he was, he was a professional lawyer. He was the one who told me that let's start with the investigation force whatever they do down there was not my problem but i want the matter to be investigated because i am 100 percent sure those participating in this thing does not only come from yundum and fajara i am 100 percent sure the state house is involved too but then if you don't investigate but mr jata the okay issue i do accept maro said maro is saying i stood up from but the he issue is I came from his office. This was voluntary. Yes. You decided to go along with them and executed the boys. Fine. But I am also telling you, I have a duty here. Maybe you may not understand. One, I was able to save the balance of those boys who decided to stay. My driver was among them. He was not executed. He's here. Although Kurubali, the worst I could remember, Kurubali has died. I don't know for one reason or the other. But my driver was here. That's why the one Hasaba Sabal was shooting. Uh, Mr. We Jaffa, succeeded in that. We are not talking about Fajara Barracks. You have I'm telling accepted you, I'm telling responsibility. You, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Hear me out. Hear me out. You have accepted responsibility for the mm -hmm. killing of the soldiers at Fajara mm -hmm. Barracks. Mm -hmm. Now we are talking about the forest. Now Marong is also saying, I did nothing about it. Why is Marong Asat now? How did he end up in the army? Mr. That is... A digression. We are not interested. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm also in making, how making a statement. Where he I know to. wherever he is. Is Marong lying? Marong is li was lying. Did you go to the forest? I went to the forest, but I told him that I want to answer see the what's questions, going to Mr. Jata. I was, were you tied? I was at the forest. Were you tied and forced to go to no, the forest? No, 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 You jumped in that vehicle voluntarily, didn't yes, you? Yes, because I decided that I'm going to talk to Sabali. Okay, let's hear what happened at the forest. You see. Tell, we us, went, 
Let Tell us what happened at the good, forest. Good. Let's go on our way. We went up to Nyambai, last edge of Nyambai by Gambia College. They decided to go down by Nyambai Forest. Along the line, JCB had only one truth I can tell you. He said he came down when all that noise was going on, somebody that was yelling in the vehicle. He told us that Kanye was bayoneting them. And the purpose of, in fact, turning from that and coming back was that they fear that if they dump all these people at that same place, the journalists are going to, a uh, journalist will pick up. So the at site. that stage, you knew these people were going to be killed anyway. Now I know that they are going to be killed. Now no, I'm no, working no, no, on Savali. No, no. You are saying, mm -hmm. you are saying the reason why they mm -hmm. turned was because they didn't want journalists to hear. Yes. You had already discussed at the officers' mess that mm -hmm. these people were going to be killed. In fact, Mr. Marong read you the law. Didn't that happen? I, I did not discuss. They said they are going to kill them. And I was saying, no, but Marong, Marong, no, no, no. They did not tell me on the spot that they are going to kill them. I was not invited. Not I was not invited to Yundum. We are not talking about an invitation. You did not need an invitation, Mr. Jata. You were a voluntary participant. No, I'm the commander. That's not like voluntary. Exactly. So why would you be invited? I want to talk to Sabali. I want to talk to Sabali. And we made some progress after killing these people. But here is a situation. As we turn up around, who told Kanye to buy, who authorized Kanye to bayonet those officers when we Mr. have taken a decision? That is a question that you should answer. You know? That is a question that you should answer as the army commander who participated in that operation. Hmm? Not a matter of oppression. My duty is to stop them. Did you? I tried. It failed. Mr. Jata, you participated in the execution of these soldiers. That is what the evidence said. Yes. But I will say by the Quran. I have a different mission down there. The evidence is that you went to the forest mm -hmm. with members of the junta. Mm -hmm. You paraded your subordinates mm -hmm. and executed them. Okay. Do you accept responsibility for that? They were executed. Do you accept responsibility? That they were executed, yes. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Jata. I think mm -hmm. it is refreshing mm -hmm. that you are accepting responsibility for that. Okay. Thank you. Uh, do, I, do I need to, exp to say anything further? By all means, enjoy yourself. Good. It is my duty to stand firm to my boys. I will stand by their side. On because these people, this Sana Sabali, Edward Singade, they are all politicians. On this occasion, you failed them. I you? failed to stop it. But from there on, I was able to stop it. I did something at least that stopped everything. If we had gone back when Abu Tarawale, Nyankabare, and others had been there, Kanye wouldn't have come alive. So if this is what Marang that wrote, is just Marang wrote this, I, I, I will take it with a pinch of salt, fine, because he's not in this country. Mr. Jata, let's dwell on the important issues. Yes. You have accepted responsibility okay. for the killing of the two officers at Yindum Barracks. Mm -hmm. You have accepted responsibility for the killing of the six officers at yeah, the forest. You're now superimposed responsibility taken. I said I am a witness to. You have changed no, your said, mind again. I did not, no, no, no. I, you are, what you are saying is was like, you are now committing me. No, you no, committed No, it's the grammar. Myself. It's the grammar. You see, when we say responsibility, we should know what we mean by responsibility. But Mr. Jata, Look, you committed whatever yourself. Whatever happens in Basse, I am the commander. I'm responsible. Well, if we you want We can take responsibility at that level. If you but want here is a situation. Why are your superiors... Why are you all superiors why acting an act of atrocities? And you did everything possible to stop them. Okay, Mr. Jackson. If I had, if I had start, stood away, uh, 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 stayed at home, what are you going to tell me today? Oh, Mr. Jata, I am not here to answer questions. I ask the question. Uh, okay, let me answer my own okay. question. Le but By answering I'm my own question. Don't answer to your own question. I ask the questions. Okay. Uh, so let's look at it in two ways. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you want to talk about the law. Let's first look at the law of individual responsibility. Okay. The, it, the witnesses said you are there 
you participated in the extended line mm -hmm. and you fired shots with what at the victims and they died let them tell me with what okay Weapon. let's hear from alaji kanyi please can kindly play the audio the video of alaji kanyi uh, it's uh, yeah. the uh, ninth the eleventh video please alaji kanyi I said, at that stage, uh, you told us that the captured soldiers were put in an extended line and uh, they gave their backs to you. Uh, your group, tell us who was there. I understand you did indicate that the council members were there, but give us a list of the people who were present. Lieutenant Sanabi Sabali. Lieutenant Sadibu Hydra, Lieutenant Edward Singade, Lieutenant Peter Singade, Colonel Babukar Jada, Lamin Fati, LJJ, myself. BNJ, private BNJ, and private BNJ, Ponkal, JCB Mendy, and private Suso. Now I. He was he is a Zanamiri. This is what I can remember. Council members are as follows. Sanabi Sabali, Lebanon Sana Sabali, Lebanon Sadibu Hydra, Lebanon Yankuba Tude, Lebanon Edward Singade, Lebanon Peter Singade. To establish who was present at that stage, uh, you told us that the captured soldiers were put in an extended line and uh, they gave their backs to you uh, your group tell us who was there i understand you did indicate that the council members were there but give us a list of the people who were present lieutenant sanabi sabali lieutenant sadibu hydra Lieutenant Edward Singade, Lieutenant Peter Singade, Colonel Babukar Jada, Lamin Fati, LJJ, myself, BNJ. Uh, Mr. Jasser, do you deny standing on that extended line? In that formation and shooting, it did not happen. I was in Mufti, I did not even carry a weapon. The evidence by Kanye, he was asked, Babu Karjata, yes. did he fire a shot? But he with what weapon? Go ahead, go ahead. Just hear me out. Mm -hmm. uh, he was asked whether Babu Karjata fired a shot, and he said yes. Why wouldn't he say yes? When we have scores to settle. I don't know about that. Uh -huh. He has scores to settle? Yes. After this incident, he expect me to promote him to lieutenant. I said no. Bukar, were you making decisions as to who was promoted and who was not? No, because he thought he can get something out of it. Uh, no, the question is, mm -hmm. were you making the decisions as to who was promoted and who was not? No, he was sent to me. Exactly. So, therefore, the decision for his promotion did not lie with you. What he said, 
in his last testimony, no, no, he no. was not compensated. By what? Babukar, the question is... The question is, uh -huh. you were not responsible for promoting him, and therefore, his lack of promotion mm -hmm. cannot be held against you. That is so. Isn't that a fact? Isn't that an obvious mm -hmm. fact? Mm -hmm. You didn't understand what Kanye was saying. I had a confrontation with him over the issue of promotion. Uh, you, your evidence, Mr. Okay, Jata, let me come. is that let me come. Kanye is grudged against you because you did not promote him. That's but you just accepted that the because, decision to no, promote no, did I not was, lie with you. I was trying to tell you the purpose of having this 11 November was a of those who went to the State House. Some of them were promoted from sergeants to uh, lieutenant. I am not after the purpose. I am now after your conduct at the forest. Yeah, but we did to you talk participate about in the killing I not of your soldiers? I, I do not fire. I was in Mufti. Uh, let's uh, hear. You, you can hear a lot of them. You can just keep on playing them. I know that I was in Mufti. My duty was to make sure I be present to talk to these people, politicians that don't do this. Did you do that? I did that. Okay, I will come to that in a moment. Okay. In the meantime, mm -hmm. um, just to gain time, I would not play the video, but I'll just put the allegation to you and you respond. Okay. Babu Karmbub indicated that all those who went to the forest, mm -hmm. including yourself, mm -hmm. among those who went to the forest, mm -hmm. they fired their weapons, except for Keja Uture, uh, and uh, George Cisse. What do you say to that? Keja Uture. Keja Uture was... I did not see Keja Well, Babu Karmu. But I am telling you, listen to me. Uh, sorry, I don't have to be a little bit... But what I'm saying, I was in Mufti. As a commander, why do did I have to fire carry? a weapon? I did not fire a weapon. I went empty-handed. Uh, you you stated in your statement yes. uh, that the shooting was carried out mm -hmm. because Cadet Silla mm -hmm. said something in Arabic, yes. which the junta thought was a criticism of the AFPRC, That's and right. as a result, they killed him. They killed the the officers. Just shot them. But isn't that a fabrication? It's not, you may see that fabrication, but as I know, when Officer Kedasilla knew that there is no way he's going to die because he was bayoneted. Uh, Mr. Jata. Why? Ha, who gave Kanye the authority to bayonet those boys? You are taking us to a different subject. This is it. This is you it. answer the question. This is it. The question is, mm -hmm. the statement that you make mm -hmm. suggesting Mm -hmm. that these people were killed because they yes. provoked the, the, the junta mm -hmm. is not correct. No, they're not only... No, no, we know that they're going to die because already some of those people will leave them exactly. down Exactly. With few hours, few hours to go. The decision to some kill them die. was mm -hmm. already made. No, no, that has been made left, already. Yes, yes. Before it's already you left Yudum Barracks. And you knew about it. Yes. And you decided to go along. And I decided to do something and with it. And you participated in that killing. Not participation. I decided to go and I do have to do something with it. Uh, and when you are saying that I did not do something, we don't do things in that order. It is my duty to talk to those politicians. It's my duty. There are no more soldiers. They are just under disguise. But they are politicians. Ministerial Mr. appointment is Mr. political. Jata, did you do anything? I did not shoot. You what? I did not open my weapon to shoot. I went in mufti. Mufti, just like in civil dress. Uh, Mr. Marong. To, Marong did not tell me that. Mr. Marong did not go, did he? I told him not to go. Mr. Marong did not say that. I Mr. Marong said, that, okay, he okay. If, did I, if, not I, if, go, I, if I had just, given him just orders to go. Just hear me out. Just mm -hmm. hear, hear mm -hmm. me out. Mm -hmm. This is not a market quarrel. Okay. Uh, these are proceedings before right, the TRRC. Right, Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, ahead. Know, go uh, ahead. Mr. Marong stated that to go and participate was voluntary. He chose not to go. You no, chose to go. No, 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 no. That's not true. Were you forced? I no, no, no. I was. Where you? I know. I know. It's voluntary. Go. I have a stake here. I told Marong, you stay put. 
I'm, I'm going I'm going to block this out. But when I came, I told him, Marong, sorry, I have failed. I couldn't stop these people. Well, now, after all this discussion, now, because he's sitting in Europe, he'll write whatever he wants to say. Let him write. Uh, Mr. Mr. Hmm? Mr. Jata, you wanted to ingratiate yourself No, I regime. accept that, as you said, going to the site, I was not forced. But I felt I had a responsibility. You thought by doing so, you would still be in the good books of the AFPRC. No. You needed to keep your job. No. You remember it, is of, it is was because of that problem. And wait for the question. Okay. You remember at the beginning, mm -hmm. you said mm -hmm. you had to accept mm -hmm. what they said in order to keep your job. Yes. And that's what you did in this okay. occasion. Not in every circumstances. But in this occasion, you did. No. Uh, not only. No. Hear me out. Not only did you agree to lead an operation in which your colleagues were executed, mm -hmm. you went along to the forest to execute other colleagues who've been who've been arrested, mm -hmm. and then you participated in the cover-up of that operation. By how? How? Cover up. You buried the victims in unmarked graves in a place that was under your exclusive control. At the time of my service, let me tell you a story. We don't want stories. We want to hear what happened. Something happened. That was why I put my foot down on that grave. Then maybe in my absence, that grave must have been tampered with. Because where we left that grave, it wouldn't have moved. And I told Marong himself, why did you bury the victims in the I barracks? I went one day, one day. Why did you bury the victims in the barracks? There are six safer there. If why? We had, if we had buried because them Because you booth. needed to have them protected. Yes, it's, it's safer. But how about if we, if, 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 if we had to bury, uh, bury them in the booth? Leave e them in the booth? Everybody would have access. This is it. So you needed to cover up. You needed then, to protect. Then, yes, yes, you needed to protect yes, the evidence from going out. They, I, 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 I know that when they said we want to stop journalists from saying this, they came and they dumped it. I told Marong himself, get these boys to do this job. I'll wait and see what you're going to do for a while. Who was killed in the forest? Oh, I think almost six of them. Is it six to seven? I can't remember all, but I have listed the name down. Mr. Jata, you are say commander there. of the army. Listen say, to the say, question. Let me, yes, yes. You are commander this is, of the army. Remember, this is 14 years ago. You cannot even recall. I am going to recall. Is it in my write-up? Tell us. You say was part of them. Left hand, you say. A chopping, chopping, a black bar. Was there. I will say I have to crack my brain. There is this circle, Mane Nyancho, Suso, Left Nandabo. How much did that count for? Mm -hmm. Who is next? If I have the paper, let me remind myself. I, I wrote, I, I set it up to six. I have given you that list. Isn't it odd, Mr. Jata? By the way, your statement states five. But isn't it odd that your colleagues, your officers, Mm -hmm. Were executed, you cannot even remember all of them. The no. number is Officer Keret Silla is coming. How much now? Five. Come on, I can't just remember this. Like you that. did not have much. We, I, I, I took you? you know, it took me time to put that statement. You, yes, and you still could not remember. Yes, all of them. when was this? When did I for last put up this? Statement? That's almost two months ago. You had your statement even this morning. This morning, yes, and it's there. And you need the same Five thing. were there. Okay. Let me not waste my time to go over this. But I can change your name. names. Uh, okay. Let's not waste time over this. this. Let us move on. This is it. You know. They Let are us there. move on. Yes, hmm? you stated five. It make life very difficult for me. Six Wait. were killed huh? in the forest. No, the point Six I'm trying seven, yes. to make yes. is that your soldiers were executed. Mm -hmm. You claim that you protested. Yeah. You cannot even remember who. Did you resign your job? After the execution of these soldiers? Why do I have to resign? So you accepted the situation? Why do I have to accept the situation? Because you were part of it. You think I'm part of it? Yes. The choice is now yours. No, the choice is not mine. Mm -hmm. You are the one testifying. You have to take the decision whether I... the truth. Mm -hmm. You are now part you take, of Now you take the decision. 
you what I know as a soldier, it is the duty of every commander to protect your men. And that takes us back to now to the realm of command responsibility. Mm -hmm. The second issue. You remember we talked about the first one? Yes. The individual responsibility. You mm -hmm. participated. That's what mm -hmm. your men said. Mm -hmm. As a commander, did you discharge your responsibility? Yes. Tell us how. After that incident, we have orders in the cells. Thank God. By the after a while, Sabali himself started coming back to his senses, and I said, "Look, this is going to affect you one day. Don't do it." But by the time I was, uh, uh, he himself came back to me. Was like, "No, now let's let's try dress by court martial." Did you have a discussion with Jami about that? Was a week later. And can you tell I, I tried to contact him. I couldn't contact him. But a week later, I was able to get him. I said, look, here is a situation where these, these people are polit politicians are now running in and out of the camp, shooting and picking anybody they want. I told him there will come a time we will not be able to mobilize these boys because they will lose our confidence. Did you tell him a crime was committed or several crimes were committed? No, he may, he may, I, I suggest he will, he will know about them. Uh, did you tell him? No, I told him that they were shooting the soldiers. Did you tell him that uh, these crimes needed to be investigated and the no. perpetrators was prosecuted? No. Because you are one of them? Sure. Thank you very much. No, because that's what you want. Uh, I okay, I now, 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 here. Yeah. We are coming, we are coming. Hold a second. The lapses is not only on the side of the armed forces. If you okay, at the I, General's I, office. We agree. We would ask other Attorney General's entities. office. Yes. Hold, hold a second. We, why, will, okay. we would go into that at no, some no, no, other why stage. Why restrict me? I am also coming to hit you people hard. I don't want us to go. We on send you an investigation. Instead of now signing the army to accept what mm. we were telling, you all went all out to support Jammy. Mr. J yes, that may very well be true, but uh -huh. we would come That's to your that. minister. For the time being, for the time being, what okay. we are talking about mm -hmm. is the responsibility of the army mm -hmm. and the responsibility, the individual mm -hmm. responsibility of Babu Karjata for mm -hmm. having participated in those events mm -hmm. and the command responsibility of Babu Karjata for okay. failing to prevent these okay. events from happening mm -hmm. and failing to prosecute those who okay. are responsible after these events occurred. Mm -hmm. That's what we are talking about. Good. And you just accept it. Okay. Responsibility for your own failings. Okay. How am I going to prosecute them? When by the court martial, the person who was going to approve the court martial was the commander in chief. Do you know that, Mr. Jata? You were never. And uh, this boy who committed this first, if you see them loitering around, nothing has been done. Mr. They must Jata. have come under the corridor of power. Yes, you were never interested in investigating this. You were never mm -hmm. interested in prosecuting it. What the army? was interested in doing was mm -hmm. hiding the fact of what happened sure thank you very much uh, so mr chair uh, in view of the time i would leave the other topics for when next mr jata would appear before the commission so i would leave it at that i'll ask no further questions i Good. cede the floor to the commissioners mm -hmm. thank you thank you mr jata for answering my yes, question thank you for the quarrel uh, yeah uh, well Thank you very much indeed, um, uh, Council, and thank you, Mr. Jata. Uh, I don't think it was a quarrel. Yeah. Um, uh, it was a heated exchange at times, okay. which is to be expected. Uh, Robert Stemmer questioning from yeah. Council. Okay. That would help us in establishing the truth that yes, yes, we are looking for. Sure, for. for sure. The country deserves that the truth to be heard, yeah. and we need to go through that. But it I may be a bit rough at times, but uh, we have to establish some of the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, thing that we cannot do is in a confrontation like that to try to uh, compromise the respect and the dignity of the Sama Commission. Okay. That will, we will not allow that to happen, but right. confrontation, rubber stomach questioning is going to happen. I believe um, if commissioners have any questions, if not, we would wait until uh, Mr. Jata appears some here again. Council, you have any? Uh, no, before we discharge Mr. Jata, I'll ask that his statement be included in the record. I think I've handed over it to you. Yes. Uh, no, yes, this I, is, I say this we want to admit it. Ah, okay, okay. As and we would give it an exhibit number. Okay, okay, all right. Thank you very much. All right. And uh, his request is uh, 
It's an internal matter, uh, all right, all right, uh, Mr. Jada. Um, yes, sir, my, your request is granted. And uh, Marang, sir, my statement, are you going to submit that um, for inclusion in the records uh, of the commission? Yes, well? we, 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 but Mr. Marong would testify at some stage. But uh, we can, uh, because Mr. Marong is not here to identify the statement, so we can hold off on it. But for now, uh, we could just mark it for identification as a document that has been used. So it should be given MF1 number, mark for identification one. Fine. We are in your hands on that. But the portion of the statement that you read yes. would be part of the record yes, indeed. of these summer proceedings today. Indeed, Mr. Chair. Yeah. Thank that, you very much. That's good. Thank you. Uh, thank uh, you. Tomorrow I'll study on uh, the, this exhibit, Babu Karjata statement would be 0045. We had 44, this should be 4-5, according to our list. But we could uh, take a look at that and we we'll revert to the commission. Thank you very much, Madam Deputy Chair, for that assistance. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you very much indeed, Emma, for that. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jada, thank you very much, Emma, for coming to uh, the commission. And uh, we would um, uh, see you perhaps in a less confrontational way next time around. And uh, uh, we would meet again on Tuesday, understand, um, Friday is Good Friday, public holiday. Monday, Easter Monday, public holiday as well. We'll see you all Tuesday morning, 10 o'clock. Meeting is adjourned. I'm <laughs> Download the app, you can download it.